All right, good morning. My name is Ken and I am a reseller. Uh, it is currently 7.30 and we are at our storage unit where we're going to pack all of our orders for the day. I'm actually gonna take you with me on my entire day. This is usually what I do about three to four times a week. Um, I'm gonna make a video on it, see if you like it because this is what I do all the time. So first we're getting a little uh, supply drop off that we need to take. I ran out of boxes this week and it took a long time to get here, but uh, let's get in there and pack some orders. All right, so this is my setup, by the way, in case you were curious. It's pretty simple. It may look complicated, but I promise you it's not. So I just got some lights from Walmart. Now, these are LEDs. They're about 10 bucks a piece. I got my computer, obviously my Dymo. And this is my entertainment commonwealth for the day, my scale. And then this is what runs everything. This is an all-way. Um, basically, it's just a Jackery knockoff, but it is way more affordable than the Jackery. Um, it's about 150 bucks and it runs my whole setup. It even tells you right here for about eight hours, um, this here, and then it runs my LEDs and photo station probably for about two and a half hours. Um, I can get usually about 40 to 50 listings done depending on how I'm feeling that day. But, um, oh, and for internet and data, I actually just use the hotspot on my phone. Um, that was kind of a calculation into why I picked this unit. Um, I checked all the, the cell spots to make sure I had data in this particular area. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to run this in my storage unit at all. So anyway, we've got roughly 15 orders to pack and pull and whatever. So let's do that. All right, we have picked everything uh, that I have not shipped out yet. Um, we've got all these here and all this here. Uh, we do actually have a few items that we sold uh, that should have gone out this morning, but I packed early yesterday. So you might have seen this. I'm not sure. This is the Racing Electronics. I paid 100 bucks for that, and I sold it at 300. We netted a 224 from that. Uh, this you will see in a second. And then this is the uh, battery pry, which I paid a dollar for. And I think I ended up netting $93 after shipping and everything there. So I think everything else you will see here. Yes, I believe you will. So uh, probably the biggest thing is going to be this box under here. This is some sort of gel warmer. I'm not sure, I think it's for acrylic nails. But I think I paid like 15 bucks from that on an auction site, and I think I got 280 bucks uh, free shipping for it. The market was pretty crazy on those, though. Uh, they had a lot of them listed for like three, 354. Um, so I undercut everything. So that went out. A um, couple other things that I wanted to say really quick is like when it comes to stuff like this, these are this is a Scuba Pro. I think I got 100 bucks free shipping for this but I paid 40 bucks for it. So I'm not at the point in my reselling career now where everything I'm doing is a dollar into 50, a dollar into 100. If I could do that a thousand times, I would. I think everyone would. But the reality is, is a lot of these people that I know at the flea market, around town, whatever, um, they know that I resell and they're pretty solid pickers themselves if I'm being completely honest, they're really good and they find stuff for me. They check eBay, they see if the sell through is good and they hold it for me. And I already have an agreement with most of them that I'll give them about 40 to 50%. Now that varies obviously based on the person, but knowing that they're gonna have that inventory for me when I'm there and I know that I'm gonna be able to sell it and make money on it, it's totally worth it to me to pay the 40 bucks for that thing and then sell it for a hundred because if I do that 10 to 15 times a day, I think my average sale price right now is, well, let me check. So my average sale price for the year is currently sitting at $58.12. So that is pretty 
solid to me. Let me turn the lights on real quick. My goal was to get to 40 for the year and I'm already at 58. So anyway, my point is, is if I sell 10 to 15 things and I'm averaging 40 to $50 per sale, then I mean, we're looking at good money. So let's pack these up and we'll get going. All right, the packages are done and squared away to be transported. So it is currently about 8.20 and we need to leave here 9.15 to get to the Amazon liquidation store when they open. So we've got some time to get some listings done and I've still got some juice left in my generator. So I might as well go ahead and do some listings and knock those out. Um, I post about 15 times a day uh, I do them all by bulk in the morning. I think it, there's no correct answer, I think, for the proper listing. Um, I have just found that for me and for the items that I sell, the morning is around the best time um, to post those things. So let's go ahead and get my second unit open, which I'm not going to show you because it is trashed. Um, but it actually is uh, kind of where I stage all my stuff. I just bring it in, I put it in a row. And then when I go list, I just grab it out. And uh, you know what, I'll just show you, why not? All right, don't judge me. So basically this is how I have my storage unit set up. Um, I've actually already gone through all this section here. Uh, this is all primarily the Route 21 sale um, and the week before that. And this is all liquidation that I've gotten from auction sites. And then back there is the flea market stuff. So. I got all this done on probably Tuesday, Wednesday, and I need to get all this done uh, probably either today when I get back or maybe probably Monday or Tuesday of next week, all this will be gone. It'll be empty again. And if you believe it, this thing was entirely full uh, uh, for three or four days and two days before that, completely empty. I had nothing to list. I was a little worried, honestly, and then I filled it up, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab a bin from there and then I'm gonna get to listing and uh, let's do it. All right, so we are now done. I got my listings done for the day and we are headed to the Amazon return store. So uh, we're gonna do our sourcing for the day. It is the Amazon return store. And then we're driving down about an hour to an auction house where I find pretty much, I would say probably about half my inventory now comes from this auction house. So I'll show you what I get and I'll explain how the auction house works when we get down there. All right, so we are at the Amazon store now. Um, I'm not actually gonna film in there for various reasons. Um, however, I will show you uh, what I find when I come out of it. So basically this Amazon store, everything is uh, $12, I believe today. So um, that's kind of how these places work. It's a bunch of Amazon, Target, Walmart returns. But I'll film a little bit in there just so you see the building. Um, but otherwise, let's do it. We spent $52.61 on four items. This Hello Kitty sewing machine, probably 100 bucks, give or take. Um, probably, probably more around like $60, $70 profit on that after cost of goods and shipping. This Work Sharp um, sh knife sharpener. Work Sharp is a great brand. You'll primarily only find them in Amazon stores. Um, I haven't checked the price on this, but last time I sold it, it was probably around $50 or $60. Um, so we'll profit probably about. So my GoPro battery, I think is dying or not working very well, but I wasn't able to show you what I got from the last store. So um, we got lucky with one of the items being this SwitchBot lock set. 
So I haven't looked these up, but I, if I remember correctly, these are probably about 70 to 80 um, just by themselves. And I have like the keypad and then um, the little sensor there as well. So that was really lucky. I think I already showed you the Hello Kitty um, and the sharpener. And then lastly, let me adjust you guys real quick. This is gonna be some sort of audio player. It's this little mini TV. Um, it's called Didu, Didu Pro. But for whatever reason, the sell through was pretty high on these things. And they sell anywhere from like 50 to $60. So not too bad. Um, I think I told you what we paid. I believe it was like $52 and some change. But we currently drove about an hour and some change down to the auction house uh, while I was away. There's one more bin store. Uh, I'm not gonna record anything in there because I don't usually find anything really, um, but I will show you if I find something. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go down to the auction house. So it is currently, um, I believe 12 o'clock and our appointment to pick our stuff up is at one. So we gotta kill an hour. So we might as well try to make some money. All right, we only found one thing in there. It was an Orbit uh, 62100Z, which is just like an oscillating sprinkler type, I think but we paid $15 for that as uh, their items are $14 per item with this one. So um, we'll probably sell that around 50-ish, 60 bucks. Probably make 25, 30 bucks on that. Nothing crazy there. But anyway, it is currently 1240. Um, our appointment is at 115. It's gonna take us about 15 minutes to get to the auction house. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and get my stuff and come out and I'll talk about it uh, because we have to wait in line and there's a whole big crowd and it would be weird talking to the camera while I'm standing around like 80 people. So we're going to drive. Here we go. All right, so I just picked everything up and I'll show you real quick. So this is just to put it in perspective what I've got here. And then I've got another box here of various things. So let me get into the car and I'll talk to you. So there's a really big mix of stuff that I actually get from this site. Um, I kind of know they're all good to go because I'm checking everything before I'm bidding on it. But stuff like, like this, for example, this sells for like 150. I think I got it for like three bucks. So this is an example of something that people don't know about, but just to put it in perspective, this I paid $60 for and it sells for I think around 110 120 so I'll make about 30 bucks on this but it sells like three times a day whereas I'll make you know probably 120 or so after fees and everything on this I mean this sells a lot as well so really that's kind of what I care about is just if I'm making 20 30 bucks profit per item and this is sort of daily refinements um, system which I'm sure people have said it before but if I sell 15 things a day which I do and they're all around that 20 30 dollar mark you know you're putting yourself at 100 grand a year um, reselling stuff so that's just kind of the mindset that I have adopted and it's worked really well for me so just to give you guys some numbers because that's what I like doing it's what I do in my other videos um, I can't really give you individual numbers because this is over like a really long period and by long I mean maybe five days this is what I picked up um, we're looking at probably about 500 bucks spent on everything because they, they have their own commissions and everything that added on top of the item. So if I'm buying something for 10 bucks, I'm really um, buying it for like 12 bucks essentially. But anyway, we spent 500 bucks on all of those items and the total profit that we're going to see after shipping, after fees and everything like that will be around 1500 bucks on all that stuff behind me. So. I do that roughly twice a week. Now it's not always 1500 bucks. There were some really good items in this one this week, but um, that's about um, what you're looking at is I'm, I'm usually looking at like a double up and sometimes a three X on the standard items. And then every once in a while you get a banger in there, but that is why I drive an hour twice a week down here to pick that stuff up. So woo, it is hot. I got to turn my AC on. All right. And that will pretty much do it for this video. So. Let's get the time really quick. We started our day around 7.30 or so, I believe, packing orders and answering customer questions and whatnot. And it is currently 2.16. So I need to get 
about 30 to 45 listings prepared for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday so that I can take the weekend off. Um, I think I can probably knock that out in about probably an hour to hour and a half, I think. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this style of video, I actually think I much prefer making this kind of video than I do uh, the videos I have been making. Um, I would like to be a little bit more informative rather than just kind of showing things that I found. I will still obviously include things that I found in these videos, um, but I would, I would like to start talking about the process and um, how I'm doing it so that you might be able to um, improve a little bit maybe, hopefully. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.